Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is my beauty empties for June 2022. I've already done my entries which is a few videos back. I'll link it down below if you want to have a look at those. But basically every month I film a video of everything that's coming into my collection and then I film another video of everything going out of my collection. And the plan, the big aim of everything is to have more products going out than coming in. Um, it doesn't often work like that but I do try. Um, what was I going to say? So I have already filmed my entries. Um, I have got all my numbers here for that. And so this time I'm hoping to have more things going out. On my previous empties video, um, I'd done several months together because I'd been a bit slack at updating you all and I'd not used that much. But I forgot to add in some products that had gone out of my collection in the form of not so much giveaways, but like gifting to other people. Um, I sent a box of goodies over to other of my YouTube friends. And then I also donated a box of goodies to um, a girl that I work with who was doing a raffle to raise money for her son's football team. So, um, yes, yeah, so I had quite a few products going out there. I had like um, 35 products going out altogether, which I didn't take into account for in my empties so what i'll do i will add it on i'll include it today i'll tell you at the end how many of those things had also gone out but it'll, and i'll just include it in my numbers down below purely so that at the end of the year i can still look at in versus out if that makes sense cool so let's get started some of these products in here you'd have seen already from my updates in my project pans but there's other things as well which haven't been included so yeah and then from now on as well i will be putting the products i've finished from my project pans until i've filmed that project pan update and then they'll go into my bag just purely because it gets once they go into my bag i usually kind of tend to take that to the recycling but sometimes i haven't done the update on my projects and it gets really confusing about what needs to go back in or not so i figured this is going to be the easiest way to do it <laughs> it's so warm it is roasting here in the uk right now and this weekend is going to be really really hot coming up so um it's currently tuesday which is like a little bit cooler than yesterday um but gee whiz it's been so, so we're just not used to this heat here in the uk and last night was just dreadful so first product i am going to be chatting about is the Ana anatomicals smooth Butts love coconut coconut and mango body lotion this was in a project and i absolutely loved it there's a blooming tractor. Every time I film, a tractor goes by. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice product. They're quite cheap and I really, really enjoyed it. Next I've got was the Dr. Pawpaw 7-in-1 Hair Treatment Styler. These are in no particular order. Am I a bit low? I feel like, it, is that a bit better? Um, so yeah, this was the Dr. Pawpaw 7-in-1 Hair Treatment Style. It took me quite a while to finish it off, but it was a nice enough product. It smells really nice, but I'm not convinced that it does all of the things it lists. I wouldn't purchase it again, but it was nice just to use it up. Next was the Bubble Tea Mango Iced Tea Body Lotion. Um, just wasn't a fan. The packaging is really hard to use because it's so hard. It's difficult to squeeze the product out, and then you can't really sit it on its end because it's, that kind of shape um it's really hard to shake out it's really hard to squeeze out and you don't get a right lot of product in here it's only like 100 mils i'd have rather have had like a squeezy tube um the smell was a bit lackluster for me it was all right but um yeah i wasn't um, mad on it i wouldn't get it again what i would get again is what i always have which is my redox um bath salts really really love them um it's just fabulous we have got a Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. Really nice hair mask. I did enjoy it. It had a nice coconut smell, not too artificial. And then, yeah, it was really pleasant to use. Talking of smells, <laughs> this is my little link between products. This was disgusting. It literally made me feel quite ill and to the point where I had to take it off. And it was a nut oil mask. So it's like a clay mask. It was absolutely disgusting. These are the sorts that you can pick up in Superdrug, Wilco's, supermarkets and things that always sort of hanging up, aren't they, for like a quid and Primark and things. It was just disgusting. It's baobab oil and manula oil. And it just, it just, is, it smells so drastic. It's, it's awful. Um, A little miscellaneous product was the Gillette Venus Treasures pack of three razors these were really good um 
how many blades do they have so they had like a touch of aloe on the blade um is it only a three blade like a triple blade they were really comfortable to use i know you can't really see there but the head you can see there it's got really nice like um like lubricating strip and things and they were a really really lovely razor so i would definitely purchase them again i have finally finished some nail polish remover probably most of it has evaporated i'm sure over the years but this is such an achievement it's not anything i ever really need to get i've got i bought two at the same time one was an acetone free and one had acetone in it <coughs> excuse me i've had such a bad cough 10 days of negative lateral flows is not coming up as COVID. I do think I've had COVID. Um, but anyway, this is a nail polish and it works really well. It's super drug. Um, I just think cheap and cheerful is fine. And acetone free is much kinder to your nails. So yeah. Next thing is, I decluttered this. I, I just didn't like it. It was from the Undid in your face, water tint for face. So it's a bit like a tinted serum. Um, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the texture of it. I didn't like how it applied and um, how it looked. I think the shade was slightly off for me, which didn't help, but it just did nothing for me. So I'm afraid I'm decluttering it. I'm very much of the mindset now, if I don't like something, I'm not going to try and make it work. It's just going. Um, I'm going to be quite brutal. Some things I'll pass on to people, like friends and family. Some things I'll just purely declutter. And this is something I really, really enjoy. is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Really, really nice. Um, it does help to like reduce your pores. It sort of gets rid of any dead cells on your skin surface and things. And it's just really, really good. And yes, I would repurchase that again tiny tiny crabtree and evelyn smooth and refined body lotion um it literally one use and that finished the tube but it was nice it's only a sample and there was how much was in here 15 mils so yeah it's like a body lotion time you've done your legs and thing it doesn't take much to use it but it smelled lovely um hydrated really really nicely my skin felt nice after using it so it was really gorgeous Next thing was a face mask from, who is it from? I'm not sure what the brand is, but this was gifted to me in um, from Face Mask Club and it is a coconut milk sheet mask. Um, it was really nice actually, it really sort of left my skin feeling nice and supple and moisturised and refreshed, so I did enjoy that. I wouldn't repurchase really it purely because I've got so many masks still to use up. Um, I have some other razors here, which are the Wilkinson Sword Extreme 3. And these were quite cheap. And to be honest, they were fine. They, all the razors I get, I can like, they do the job really well. They're just like a, they're not the cheapest razors you can buy, but they're certainly not um, the price of the ones with the, like, replace, like the heads that you replace. But um, it was nice to use. It says on here, flex to your curves can't remember if it did that or not and it has aloe vera strips in and yeah they were nice so yeah save you on the lookout for a raise if your holidays or now it's summer getting our legs out and give them a go um gold eye brightening and firming eye masks from vitamasks really really nice and um, stayed on oh actually are these the ones those ones that made my felt a bit itchy oh I can't remember if it was them, but normally I do like the Vitamasks ones, so maybe it wasn't, maybe I'm making that up. But I've just had a little flashback to like a time when I, th I felt quite, my skin felt really sensitive. Oh, I can't remember if it was them, but on the whole, I, I do enjoy Vitamasks and their sheet masks. I need to start writing some notes, I think. Maybe what I might do is I don't have my Sharpie and on the back of the packaging, just write a couple of like little keywords just as prompts to help me. <laughs> if there's anything that stands out, either good or bad, I think I might just start doing that. Next thing is Mahusiv, and I love this so much. And it's from Anatomicals Scrub Tropicana Lychee and Coconut Salt Scrub. This was in one of my project pans. I think it's in the drop 10 um, for summer. And literally, the smell is amazing. And it was just a gorgeous, gorgeous salt scrub, like kind of oil based with all the big top chunks of salt in. Loved it, absolutely loved it. The packaging's like ginormous and it's like a mason jar, but it's big enough to get your hand in to scoop the product out. So it was lovely and I would, would repurchase again, actually. It was really nice. Next thing, what is this? 
uh, it was a it's just a packet it was a glove mask remover so this is just a packet just to remind me it was a bit like a um the cloths that we get like you know from um why can't i speak and think what i mean like the makeup eraser cloths um oh gosh why can't i think of what the fabric's called but anyway like the fabric that you get you can just wet take your makeup off it's a little bit like that slightly faffy in the shape of it if i'm honest and it's just to remove clay masks or you know any masks that are washable that like you have to wash off it was okay but to be honest you could just use a flannel or something i would not feel the need to go out and repurchase it at all um quite a few things here next is a lee stafford heat protection blow dry cream really enjoyed this the smell was just gorgeous i love lee stafford's sort of fragrance on their products so yeah it was just delicious and i really enjoyed using that it was a nice product i have an ameliorate nourishing body wash and um, this was a nice product as well really nice little shower gel slash body wash and then yeah i've got another couple i think Oh, again, a really nice, sort of delicate fragrance, but it was quite um, like a rich gel and it, it was lovely. It was really nice. A molten brown, delicious rhubarb and rose bath and shower gel. Um, it is a nice smell. It has got quite sharpness to it with the rhubarb part. It's not my favourite um, molten brown fragrance, but I don't mind it. And um, yeah, it, it was quite nice. I, I do enjoy it. And um, I do kind of tend to get a couple of full sizes around Christmas time, which I enjoy. Usually try and get them on my little Christmas lists so I don't have to buy them. <laughs> and I've got another molten brown here, which is a Recharge Black Pepper. And again, this is a little bit more masculine tones. And again, not my favourite. It's not like the pink pepper one. Um, but it's okay. But both of those, neither of them were my favourites at all. But as far as formulas go, really, really nice. Very, very fragrant. Um, yeah, you can use them as a shower gel or as a bubble bath. Next, for the Grace and Stella Rose Spray. This was in one of my um, projects. I finished a facial spray, which is almost unheard of for me. Um, it was nice. It wasn't too rosy. She says it is fairly rosy. <laughs> um yes if you don't like rose you probably won't like it but it was a nice spray i wonder if i should keep that bottle it's a great little size actually if um you're going traveling hmm i'm so tempted to keep that bottle maybe i might do still got loads in here actually gosh this is a good month um next thing was the Erno Laszlo Hydrate and Nourish. This is a, what does it say? Hydrophel Skin Supplement Lotion. So it's a bit like a little skin tonic. Um, and this was really weird. So it was a little tiny bottle there, 15 mils. And it was like a gel water type thing. It almost, when you got it out, it almost felt oily but it wasn't an oil, it was like a watery gel. It was really weird formula. Um, I don't know if it did anything or not, but I quite enjoyed it and it wasn't unusual texture compared to a lot of my other skincare. Um, I think they're quite expensive, so I probably won't buy it. Oh my goodness, I've got another Molten Brown and this one is Neon Amber. Um, a while back, I did get a Molten Brown um, limited edition box from, I think it was from Glossy Box. Um, so this is where I've got some of the little Molten Brown products. Oh no, this one smells really nice. So yeah, that is Neon Amber. Out of the three of them, that's definitely my favourite fragrance out of those three. Um, really nice. Same thing goes for all of them. The formulas are all the same, just you know, different fragrances. This is a declutter, which is the Max Factor Honey Lacquer. Um, it smells really strongly of honey and it's gone off. I've had it for donkeys. I must have had this about seven years, maybe more. Um, the shade's actually quite nice but it's, it stinks, it's, it's definitely gone off, so it was a bye-bye that. Oh, heck, I've just flung it to the side. Um, so yeah, it, it was quite nice in its day, but it's definitely past it. Next thing was a Cetaphil Daily Defense Moisturizer. Again, it's only five gram, it's tiny. And I can't really say how good a moisturizer it is because um, I thought it was a cleanser 
to begin with. So I, I use quite a lot of it on like application number one, all over my face to wash my face, my makeup off and I thought this is a bit rubbish. And it was rubbish because it wasn't a cleanser, it was a moisturiser. So then there wasn't very much left to try out as a moisturiser, but I'm pretty sure I must have more of these in my collection, so yeah. But I'm sure it's pr probably a pretty sort of standard type of moisturiser, nothing special, but does the job. Next thing is a mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is the, what sort is it? Does it say? Lash. Oh, heck, I don't know. But anyway, it's that one. It's obviously a mini. And it had a big fat wand on it. And it was nice. You know, I, I quite like a lot of mascaras, to be honest. But these bigger brushes, I do tend to get a lot of transfer on my upper lids. Next thing is something I've not used in ages. And I, I've used to always really enjoy it. And it's the Grow Gorgeous Scalp Detox Exfoliating Pre-Wash Treatment. Absolute bugger to get out of your hair. But um, it, it's really good at getting rid of any product buildup you've got in your scalp and things like that. So it is definitely worth all doing. And I do notice a difference in my hair when I've used this. I haven't I've got one of those like big, um, like silicone-y, scrubby, handheld things that you can use probably as a, a scalp massages or something. So you could probably use them with your scrubs and that just to help get the product in there and maybe to help try and rinse it out. I love the smell and I love the product. Um, I've had lots of these gifted to me in the past from other YouTubers, which was really kind because a few years ago, I was just really raving about how much I loved them and people sent me all theirs because um, lots of people hate them. But I really, really like it and I think it is a really nice product. Um, we have got this Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. Really lovely mask. It makes your skin feel really hydrated. It plumps it up. It does brighten it a bit, I think. And yeah, I got um, a couple of uses out of that. It was lovely. Then we have a declutter, which was the Charlotte Tilbury scent of a dream perfume. Smells like cat's pee. I hate it. Honestly, if I was given a bottle of this for my Christmas, I'd be devastated. It stinks. It's not often I can't finish a perfume, but literally it, it was disgusting. So no, I would not buy a full size or would I, nor would I recommend it either. And um, it was just disgusting. Next few things I've got is the... Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula, Coconut Oil Conditioning Shampoo. So I did have the packet of the hair mask earlier. So this is kind of like the matching shampoo. Really lovely, actually. I think I might look out for this a full size. I bet you can probably get it in Superdrug or somewhere. Um, I always sort of think of Palmer's with the body lotion. So it was really nice to try some hair products. Why is it so bright? There we go. So yeah, give that a go. It was re really nice. If you've got one in your collection already, just get it out and use it up. Next is a declutter and it is the Zoeva Infinite Potential Mascara um, Full Volume. This was just such a clumpy mess. And Zoeva is like cheap and honestly, you can see it's still full, but like literally the wand, I don't know if you can tell at the lid, can you see all the fibres and that? It's just so clumpy. It's just crazy. Um, you can't build it up because you literally end up with three eyelashes, like big, fat, spiky, horrible lashes. Um, you probably need a really light hand or, and I just can't be bothered with too much effort to try and make something work. So I have decluttered it. It wasn't a project, now it's gone. Um, the Clarins SPF 30 Sun Care Cream. I got this in one of my boxes. Really nice. Really, really enjoyed it. Lovely product. Um, I would recommend it if you're feeling a bit fancy pants. However, it's not something I'd repurchase because it's expensive and I'll just sit down to Savers or Home Bargains and buy my sun cream there at discounted price. <laughs> because, you know, as long as you're using your sunscreen, that's fine. Next thing was my blush duo. Look at that, totally gone. And it's from the Beauty Crop in the shade Orion Glow. Um, I think this was maybe a birch box item potentially um but look at that i loved it it was a shimmery blush duo kind of like corally and pinky and it was just gorgeous i would buy that again if i got to a point where i've not got any um 
blushes in my collection that's definitely one that i would pick up it was so nice i loved it it always looked really really lovely on the skin um little perfume bottle i'm going to keep this for my shelf if i get a little perfume shelf behind me um i just love the packaging and it was from so eau de parfum so and i think the shade was nude um and it was just such a lovely just day-to-day -day perfume nothing special but just really really pleasant and i did enjoy it i've got so many perfumes i won't repurchase it but it was really nice if i got it again i'd enjoy using it and then finally we have got another declutter it would appear okay i thought someone was in my garden i think it's my next door neighbor i think and it's from walida and from grenade this must be disgusting i can't even remember it but it's full let me just spray it a little bit Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's like a combination of alcohol that's like, like stale alcohol as in drinking alcohol and cough sweets. It, oh, it's disgusting. So yeah, I've decluttered that because it's absolutely horrible. Right, give me a minute. I'm going to go and split everything up into my different categories. We'll look at numbers, do a comparison of inverses out, and then we'll wind, wind up the video. So see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, guys, so I've got everything here. Um, I have got all my sums added up. I think what I'm going to do um, at the end of this video on the screen, I'm going to put my totals so far for the year. Since we're kind of like, um, these are for the June entries and empties, so that'll be our midway point. So I think that'll be quite interesting to have a look at um, all the different categories coming in and going out. I'll do a split screen showing like the four categories and my six month totals and um, i have got no idea what they are so i'm really looking forward to that and then i can see if i'm on track if i need to work on certain categories um more or, or whatever but anyway let's just get on with this so all together what have we got i have got three miscellaneous products going out of my collection i don't count them in my inventories because they're usually like non-consumable products really um so that's fine but i had four coming in three going out but it doesn't really matter because we don't count them but i just like to let you know those numbers so the categories that do count though for my infantry is body care skin care hair care and makeup so in the let me move you i'm in my craft room i'm so sorry it's just easier filming this here so here are all of the body care products and there are 14 empties for june now i had 12 products coming in to june 14 going out so i've reduced my body care um collection by two products overall for that month which is really really good so yeah 14 out but 12 in moving on to bring it down here let's have a look at hair so for hair products going out i have got five products going out of my collection in june but I had 10 coming in. So my hair care collection has grown by five for June. Um, skincare, I have got eight skincare products going out. I need to do some more masks. This is what's really letting me down. <laughs> I need to do some more like basic skincare things. So eight products going out of my collection. I had 12 coming in. So my skincare collection has grown by four, which does make me groan a little bit. Um, and then makeup, I had five makeup items going out, but I had 10 makeup items coming in. So my makeup collection has grown by five. So overall numbers for June, excluding miscellaneous products. So we had 36 products in total coming into my collection. And here I've only got 32 going out. So overall my collection has grown by four. But believe you me, I am now determined to start using these products up a bit more. I'm going to bring back, I think, um, Turn and Burn. That really helps me get through my minis and single use and gimme products. So I'm definitely going to focus on that a bit more. And stay tuned and we will, um, I'll do my numbers. I'll do a little bit of a voiceover probably for the six month totals. But if you don't want to stick around to see them, thank you so much for watching. Um, take care and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.
stay tuned for numbers hey guys so this is totally lazy and i've just got my little jotter here and i've just gone through and added everything up so if you can see here this is for the products coming in oh my gosh tractor again are you kidding me this is so funny <laughs> hilarious um it's good weather isn't it they're out harvesting and whatnot cutting corn and things i guess um so these are my entries for the year today so we've got january february march april may june then skincare hair care body care makeup and these are all my numbers so all my skincare for the months are all of january depending on how you want to read it um so that's everything coming down here are my empties so I've always filmed my entry videos every month have been really good. I was a bit naughty at not filming my empties and that's because I knew I didn't have very many. As you can see here, I had the March, April and May's all combined um, into one video, which was this top row here. And then this was one of the um, boxes of products that I gave away to a friend. And this was the second box there. And then this is just um, today's empties here. Okay, so let's look at turtles. So, skincare for the year, I've had 67 skincare products come in, 65 go out. So that's not too bad, I don't think. Um, and I know that I can improve my skincare by doing more masks and things. So that's definitely something I'm gonna work on. Hair, so I had 21 coming in overall, 28 going out, so that's real good. Um, body 60 coming in 56 out again only four difference Um, i can certainly use up some perfumes some body lotions and things then makeup i had 54 coming in 37 going out Um, i'm not too mad about having lots of makeup but overall the numbers 202 products coming in for the first six months versus 186 going out <coughs> excuse me which means that my collection has grown by 16 products which i think over six months isn't bad at all so that's okay i'm glad i've done this little light touch base i definitely know that there's areas i can improve but considering a few months ago i was feeling really overwhelmed i actually think i've done well and i've not been doing all my project planning <coughs> sorry i've not been doing all my project planning i'm just literally in the middle of a coughing fit so if I just sort of pick up the pace again with my projects, I'm definitely going to be in deficit by the end of the year. This has just really spurred me on knowing that actually I'm doing really well this year. Really well. So I would urge you all just to keep a track of your numbers because it is such a good motivator. Um, yeah, so that is definitely everything now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.